All right, so we are in section 3.5. Like I said, I'd broken up chapter 3 into two parts. The first half was dealing with uh, systems of linear equations and inequalities. The second half deals with uh, matrices. And so today we have, um, I'm just, we're just going to perform basic uh, matrix operations. First thing we have to do is what is a matrix? Matrix is a rectangular arrangement of numbers in rows and columns. Not only can it not be numbers, but it also could be variables, symbols, and stuff like that. But here's the main thing, like this is what a matrix looks like. And again, we said it was broken up into rows and columns. So this here is considered a row. And then this here is considered a column. So when they tell you, like, I'm looking for, like, say, matrix A is a 2, 3 matrix, that's telling us that the dimensions for that matrix is two rows and three columns. One of the things for basic operations is being able to add and subtract matrices. When adding and subtract matrices, it is important that all matrices must be the equal dimensions for the operation to work. If they are unequal, then the problem is not possible. So if, say, if you have, like, these ones are 2 by 2 matrices, so this shows that these are possible. So, if, but if I had a 2 by 2 plus a 2 by 3, it could not because these do not share the same dimensions. <clears throat> when we're dealing with addition and subtraction, it is like we are adding or subtracting one-to-one -one correspondence. So if, like, for adding, if we are going to add each matrix, what we're going to do is, is say if I have the top left corner, I'm going to add the same top left corner to the other matrix and then combine them. So that means I have B plus F goes here, C plus G goes here, and D plus H, which goes here. Same operation goes for if I have subtraction. So it's be A minus E here, B minus F here, C minus G here, and D minus H. Okay? So if we are given this example, I am going to, it creates one matrix, and I'm going to add each one of these correspondence. So if I just took the first row, means that I'm going to add these two together, these two together, and these two together. So that leaves me with 11, 12, 9. And then if I go to row 2, I'm going to say it's 4, 5, 14. The last row, it's going to be 9, 18, 7. Okay? But like let's let's say for instance let's say that this was a subtraction problem. So now I'm going to get a new result for my subtraction. I would get negative one, negative two, seven. I would get four, negative one, zero. In the last row I'd get negative one, zero, negative five. So, again, this is just using those, those operations to help you add or subtract. So, this is an addition one. I'm going to say that this becomes 2, 4, negative 3, and negative 1. Okay? Looking at this one, this one's a 2 by 3 matrix. This is a 2 by 2. Two different dimensions, which means we can't do it. So... Our answer is not possible. Next thing that we have is called scalar multiplications. This is where we multiply um, each value in a matrix by a scalar. So here's our scalar, which is negative 2. And what we are going to do is we're going to multiply negative 2 to each value of our matrix. So I'm going to take negative 2 in here, bring it to here, and to all of them. So I want to say... That this is negative 8, positive 2, negative 1, 0, negative 4, and negative 14. 
when I have to do both addition or subtraction with the scalar multiplication, you must keep in mind order of operation. So I need to multiply by 4 to this matrix before I add both matrices together. So this ends up equaling what? Negative 8, negative 32, 20, and 0. And then I can add it to the negative 3, 8, 6, and negative 5, which then gives me my final matrix result would be negative 11, negative 24, 26, and negative 5. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to solve for uh, matrices equations. Sometimes we're going to have variables such as x and y in there, and I want to know what uh, what x and y must be for this uh, to be a solution. So here, if you notice that my parentheses are towards both this matrix and this matrix, so I have to multiply both matrices by 3 before I can uh, do the addition process. So I'm going to put up here plus so all of this is going to be multiplied by 3 so it becomes 15 X negative 6 18 uh, negative 12 and then the next one's going to be 9 21 negative 15 and negative 3 y so from here, I want to solve for x, I want to solve for y. So I can say that 15x plus 9 equals a negative 21 because it's the top left corner of this matrix added by the top left corner of that matrix equals the top left corner of my result. So when I subtract both sides by 9, I get 15x equals negative 30 which leaves me with x equaling negative 2. Now, when I use my y value, I say negative 12 plus a negative 3y equals a negative 24. Again, I got the bottom right corner plus the bottom right corner here. It gives me the results of the bottom right corner of this matrix. So I can add 12 to both sides, which gives me negative 3y equals a negative 12 and my y equals 4 so my x equals negative 2 and my y equals negative 4 looking at the next problem all I got to do what I have to do first is I have to multiply by 2 to just the second matrices because there's no uh, parentheses involved for both of them I just have to multiply the first one so I'm going to leave the first one as is so it's negative 2x 6, 1, negative 8, plus, now I'm going to multiply all these by 2, so I got 10, negative 2, negative 14, 12. And I need to find them to equal negative 9, 4, 13, and y. So, probably the easiest one is to find y, so I'm going to say negative 8 plus 12 equals y, and negative 8 plus 12 gives me a positive 4. So that's the first one. For negative, to find x, I must take negative 2x plus 10, and that's going to give me a negative 9. I'm going to subtract 9 to both sides, which gives me negative 19 equals a negative 2x. Divided both sides by negative 2, gives me x equals a positive 19 over 2, or if you use fractions, it would be like 9.5. And that is being able to um, perform basic uh, matrices operations. Hope this helps. Until next time.